You look flawless. Your skin looks so perfect. Wow, glass skin. These are the most common comments that we see under a well-edited picture on almost everyone's social media account. I am Myra Gilani, and I'm a makeup artist. And I'm going to tell my perspective of beauty after working in this industry for all these years. A teenage girl started practicing makeup to look as good as that one girl in her class, in her family, in her social media. For this girl, makeup was to change how she looked. She often got bullied for not being as fair. That teenage girl is standing right in front of you, telling you how important it is to accept yourself as it is. It took me years to accept my complexion, surrounded by people who only and only thought being fair is beauty. Back in the day, I used to click thousands of selfies a day. Not because I was self-obsessed. I had a pretty low self-esteem. I used to find comfort by looking at myself through the phone screens. I used to see myself pretty. And I thought, okay, yeah, that's me, which was a lie. If we talk about Pakistan, or generally our South Asian side, our people are obsessed with fair skin tone. Say, how many of you have seen a commercial that promises to alter your skin completely in a week? Almost everyone, right? And how many of you have seen a commercial who promises to give you a healthier skin instead of a fair tone or to completely alter it? Nearly none. On the other hand, if we talk about West, we see tanning products being promoted. This shows how deeply self-doubt is rooting amongst us. We want to change ourselves completely. We, we will go through the surgeries and the harm we will put ourselves through no matter what. We want to change ourselves. We want to look pretty and better. Such beauty standards are a social disease, putting negative impact on mental health. And by creating a culture based on appearance-based discrimination. We have a very narrow definition of beauty. And by creating these beauty standards perpetuates the narrowness profoundly. If we talk about a broader horizon, not just the beauty products like fairness creams have morphed the idea of beauty for us. The biggest non-physical product which needs to be blamed here is filters. How many of you in this hall have filters downloaded on the phone? Everyone. <laughs> yeah, everyone. Everyone opens their camera, swipe for the filter immediately. Why? because we think we do not match up to what we see around us. These beauty standards have created an unrealistic approach towards what beauty means. And we as a society are a part of it. I would like to add a similar experience with a client of mine. She wanted me to make her look exactly like this XYZ celebrity. She showed me a picture and I gave her the exact same look a to Z, ditto, same. And the next thing that she sh shares with me is, why don't I look like her? This is how deeply self-doubt is rooting amongst us. Similarly, an auntie wanted me to put four times fair foundation on her daughter because bride to gori achhi lagti hai na. Brides ne to fair dikhna hai. Phir wo meme bhi hai. Bride kare se, bride kare. Bright karenge to achhe lagenge na? Similarly, girls with problematic skins want me to completely vanish their scars with makeup. They believe in these filters to such an extent 
that they think makeup can do that to them in real life too. These filters have kicked the reality out of the picture. It's almost a reflex now. It's one swipe to flawless skin. These beauty standards excludes the people who do not fit in the prescribed ideal. This may lead to, to think that they are inadequate and it may create a negative body image and low self-esteem issues. Furthermore, this creates a culture of comparison. Individuals compare themselves to celebrities, to one another, to social media influencers, not knowing that this is all filtered and fake. This develop very, very low self-esteem and it helps, it, it reduces the mental health of ones. Inclusivity is crucial in addressing beauty standards as a social disease. This means creating a culture which is more accepting and welcoming to all individuals, regardless of their gender, race, ethnicity, sexual orientation, or socioeconomic status. We as an individuals can put some positivity in this negative world of beauty. We can start complimenting each other more. We can post good comments, stop bullying for first. And we can create a better environment for each other as whole. Being a makeup artist, I've worked on all kinds of faces, several faces, all kinds of skin tones, complexions, every kind of skin. And that's the beauty of it, how all of us are different from each other. But the unreasonable request won't leave my path. Please make me look slim, chiseled face, small nose, wide eyes, big lips. People find comfort in thinking that makeup can make them look how they always want it to look like. That too, instantly. They think that makeup can put a filter on them so they are, that they can be comfortable with their own skins. After all these years of practicing makeup on myself and others, and struggling with my inner self, who had a very, very low self-esteem, I've realized how makeup solely won't make me pretty. It's an accessory and not a necessity. We wear makeup to enhance our features and not to completely alter them. We, as a whole, everybody here is beautiful. Me, you, everybody in this hall and in this world are made perfect, regardless of any comparison or any social comparison at all. Let's say to ourselves today that we are beautiful. Everybody in this world is made perfect. Self-acceptance is self-love. Thank you.